Hello my dear friend welcome back once again and here now we're going to discuss about the very nicely we're gonna uh, uh, learn we're gonna briefly learn the first use of a dimensional equation to check the correctness of a physical equation okay so you know uh, as I told you in the previous video also we can easily check the correctness whether the equation is uh, correct or not you know uh, with the help of this dimensional equation let's say uh, I have any equation you, you can take any any example of any equation let's say very very simple equation I'm taking f equals to m a so do you think this equation is correct or maybe wrong so to check the correctness of this equation you know first we should know what is this f what is this m what is this a you know f is force and the dimension of force is m l t inverse 2 and m is here mass and dimensions of mass is simply m and a is your acceleration and dimension of acceleration is l t to the power minus 2 so if this equation is correct then dimensionally we can we can uh, verify it you know we can uh, we can show that the dimension of this f is equal with dimension of this m times a if this equation is correct so let's put the values all right the dimension of uh, f i'm just trying to put there m l t minus 2 all right and in our right hand side dimension of mass times uh, lt inverse 2 lt inverse 2 dimension of acceleration so uh, what i'm going to get uh, m l t minus 2 okay is again m l t minus 2 i just associated these two terms wow so our left hand side is dimensionally equal with our right hand side so hence f equals to m a is a correct physical is a correct physical relation by the way, my dear friend uh, it never gives you any information about some constant if there is some constant then never it gives you any information there are some some limitations of uh, dimensional equation or dimensional uh, analysis that I'm gonna tell you later but uh, if you if you forget for a while the constants involved in that in the in the equation then you can easily check the the dimensionally you know whether the whether the physical equation is correct or not let me give you one more example uh, let's say s equals to ut plus half a t square this is another uh, equation of motion all right so here if you if you see s is representing the displacement and dimension of displacement is l no, it's displacement simply length so length has just power one and now u uh, u is here initial velocity since it is a velocity so you can easily guess what is the dimension of this length divided by time that is time inverse okay and here a is our acceleration so uh, acceleration dimension formula we know already here you can see all right and this t represents here time and the dimension formula of time everybody know that's t all right so let's put the values of those all uh, uh, physical quantities and let's check it out whether this equation is correct or not okay so s s is simply l here and u t uh, u is here l t minus 1 all right times uh, t simply you know this time represents just simply t so it's here and plus again this half a t square so uh, constants do not have the dimension so we don't uh, have to think about this we can ignore this and now dimension of a that is l t minus 2 so let me write l t minus 2 and times this is square bracket t square uh, t square all right times square so in left hand side we are getting l only and in uh, first term of the physical relation we are getting l and see here if you see t minus 1 and t plus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 you'll get t 0 okay and in the second term we'll be getting l1 all right l1 that's okay and here we have t minus 2 and t plus 2 so again you will get 0 so principle of homogeneity is saying if a physical equation is correct then the each term should have the same 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 uh, uh, dimensions you know so every terms of the uh, in the both side of the equation left hand side as well as right hand side each term you know each term should have the same dimension if we are getting same dimension then that's correct di uh, dimensionally the equation is correct otherwise not so the, the the dimension of s is here simply m0 you know if you write in m format m0 l t0 and similarly dimension of u times t 
we are getting m0 l t0 right and similarly dimension of half a t square we are getting m0 l t0 so from principle of homogeneity i can say that that uh, the dimension of each term of the both side of the equations is uh, same so that's why this is correct physical relation all right and in the next video we're going to talk about the second use of the dimensional equation and that's how do we derive the relationship between the physical quantities i'll see you guys in the next video till the time please subscribe the channel and don't forget to rate the video all right and if there is any confusion or any doubt or you want to give any kind of feedback then please uh, feel free to comment below this video i'll be really really happy to reply back in the comment section